there a day the earth stood still, I'll prove there wasn't. Invasion of the Body Snatchers, I Snatched Your Moms. This earned a coveted Golden Globe Award for Best Film Promoting International Understanding. Why can't I? This is for you, Mr. Payne, because this is the Volparapore. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. Please, please. Sit down. Thanks, Danny Ovation. Welcome to the Volpera Pour. Today we'll be discussing two classics from the 50s that really displayed some terrific acting. Hey, mister, can I help you look for the spaceman? I know just what he looks like. He's got a big square head with three great big eyes. That's Yes, fantastic acting. And today on the show, I'll be bringing on a guest, Adam Spitako, where we will discuss the symbolism in the movies and how they reflect the 50s in their true, true meaning. But first, you have to know what they're about. Let's start with The Day the Earth Stood Still. Okay. So a ship lands in Washington, D.C., naturally. Alien comes out of it. His name is Klaatu. He's basically an alien who wants to destroy the world. Well, actually, that's only if we refuse to comply with his race. Basically, his race monitored ours for a while. They saw that we hate each other, and we just have wars all the time. So then he goes down to Earth, kind of hangs out with us a little bit. It's kind of boring. He has a relationship with a, a boy and his mother. Anyway, moving on. Invasion of the Body Snatchers is another uh, science fiction flick from the 50s which involves this lunatic doctor who claims he uh, saw some seed pods with bodies in them which imitate humans as they sleep. Completely ridiculous. But you know what I can take away from this film? I think it's really opened my eyes to some modern people whose bodies have obviously been snatched. Mr. Payne, you know I'm just kidding. To make it up to you, I'll let you come on my show, and you know, we can actually discuss some fantastic literature such as Howell, um, just, I mean, who let themselves be in the I saintly motorcyclists and screamed with joy. Yeah. We'll have a good time. But moving on, let's welcome our guest, Adam Spitako. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Now, about these movies, did you ever find them a bit comical at times? Well, although the acting may seem below par nowadays, what makes these movies truly powerful is their symbolism during the era. Really? Explain. Well, in Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the bodies that have been snatched represent the spread of communism during the 50s. So you're saying that these emotionless beings are communists? Exactly. I would say you're pretty emotionless. Are you a communist? Wait, transcendentalist thought of the day. Mr. Payne, are you a communist? That question could be asked for anyone. Are you a communist? I'm sorry, but these accusations are ridiculous. Where are we? Well, we're in... We're in America, where democracy rules. And I don't know about you, I don't know about the House of Spitako, but I'm American, and I'm on the right side of this line fine line of righteousness. You and Mr. Payne are on the wrong side of the line. That side of the line. Come join us. It's better here. Everyone is happy. Everyone is equal. Anyway, I'll accept your apology via Facebook. Well, uh, the distribution of these seed pods throughout the neighboring towns are analogous to the spread of communism throughout Eastern Europe. So you're from Eastern Europe. Well, and besides this, the movie takes a couple blatant stabs at communism. One memorable scene in the movie takes place in a doctor's office when he and his beloved are trapped by their neighbors whose bodies have been snatched. Miles, it would have been so much easier if you'd gone to sleep last night. Now relax. We're here to help you. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're not going to hurt you. But once you understand, you'll be grateful. Don't fight it, Miles. It's no use. 
Sooner or later, you'll have to go to sleep. Miles, you and I are scientific men. You can understand the wonder of what's happened. Now, just think. Less than a month ago, Santa Mara was like any other town. People with nothing but problems. Then out of the sky came a solution. Your new bodies are growing in there. They're taking you over. Cell for cell. Atom for atom. There's no pain. Suddenly, while you're asleep, they'll absorb your minds, your memories, and you're reborn into an untroubled world. Where everyone's the same. Exactly. What a world. No emotion. Then you have no feelings. Only the instinct to survive. You can't love or be loved, am I right? You say it as if it were terrible. Believe me, it isn't. Love, desire, ambition, faith. Without them, life's so simple. Believe me. I don't want any part of it. You're forgetting something, Miles. What's that? You have no choice. Oh, are you done? Just one more point. Those who had their body snatched insist that their world is perfect because there's no need for love and everyone is equal. This is the facade that communism put up to attract the masses before it became an oppressive regime. Moving on. This other movie, The Day the Earth Stood Still. Are its symbols as incredibly meaningful as Invasion of the Body Snatchers? Oh yes, absolutely. The reason it is a science fiction movie is because of the scientific innovations of the 1950s. There is also a general theme of peace in the movie as World War II is ending and the Cold War was beginning. It was pro-United Nations and was trying to say that war brings chaos. Oh, but it doesn't. Just look at our war. Chaos from war? I'm, I'm sure the Iraqis are perfectly happy with their current situation. Well, I think the Beats would disagree with you. The who? The Beats. You're not Emersonian enough. Well, I might not be, but I'm an American. And I'm proud to be an American. And you can send your apology along with the first one, via Facebook. Of course, I have to get one. But anyway, Kwatu, the alien that comes to our world, says his race will destroy us if the nations continue to fight amongst themselves and threaten the peace of the universe. The film's use of science fiction reflects the director's belief that science should only be used for peace and the betterment of mankind. Also, the director suddenly mentions the irresponsibility of war as Klaatu calls it the result of stupidity. The movie as a whole calls the world to forget about their differences and that the world would be far better without it. Well, thank you, sir, for coming on our show. It was a pleasure. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching our show. Come on tomorrow where we'll have Mr. Payne on. Mr. Payne, I have a comfy seat for you right here. Sit down and try and prove you're not a communist. Now, good night, everyone. This has been the Volpe Report.